AI. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about the user experience, and in particular, I'm going to look at the application of AI for, to the user experience. I'm going to slightly deconstruct it insofar as I'm going to look at it from the viewpoint of the student or learner. I'm going to look at three applications of AI, one of which, the first of which, is going to be one which is perhaps surprising. The first application of AI, as used by the user, is going to be Microsoft Word. Now, for many of you, Microsoft Word is not perhaps the first program that would spring to mind when you think of an AI application. However, Microsoft Word now has the ability to dictate text. This has particular facility for my students for whom English is a second language, and the facility to dictate is very much enhances their experience of trying to complete assignments and that kind of thing, because it makes the whole process of composing and writing an awful lot easier. <coughs> the second AI application is one which is somewhat older, and which is available on the Tools for Noobs website, which is summarize this. This tool is a language processing tool, and you can put in a body of text, and it will pull out keywords and key sentences and try and create a summary of the document under, in concern. In particular, I find it of value when I might have identified perhaps 20 or 30 research papers on a topic before I read them, but after I've read the abstracts, I can feed them into this tool, and it will produce summaries of the text of each of them. The process of feeding them in is a matter of cutting and pasting the text in. This allows me to read through and find out from the summary whether or not the paper is relevant to what I'm actually researching or what I actually need to... Uh, Read. The final application I'm going to talk about is VosViewer, and VosViewer is a bibliometric visualization tool, and I'm going to cover that in a separate presentation which I'll attach to this summarized tool to summarize a PDF file. I have a PDF file here, I select the text, I copy it, and then go to the Tools for Noobs website, click on the summarize tool, and then drop the text into the text box. I can then click summarize it, and it comes back with the summaries. That's it. Use an AI tool called VosViewer to uh, do a little research on e-learning. I'm going to create a visual network of connections. So I'm going to create a map based on text data. I now have to sort the data. So I'm going to read data from, uh, I'm going to go through an API, and I'm going to read it from Crossref, which are the people who produce DOIs, document identifiers. My search test is going to be e-learning. And it's now gone out and found all papers which have a DOI and which have the keyword e-learning in either the title of the abstract. It's now downloading those papers into a database. And here we have 1,635 papers, okay? Uh, authors, title, source, etc. Next, we're going to build up a graphic model of that. Okay, fields from which terms will be extracted, title and abstracts. It's going to come back and tell me that there are a number of separated clusters. <coughs> I'm going to ask just for the most networked term at this point. Okay, so I'm finishing. Some 130 items are not connected. The largest set connect consists of 128. Just give me a fancy graph at this point. I'm going to just take that subset. And now we have the graph here. The different colors here are different uh, subclusters. So cluster one is things like ability, attention, challenge, capture, community, community education. Cluster two, architecture, institution, e-learning, environment, platform. Cluster three, acceptance, adoption. Okay. Cluster four, child, interview, intervention, participant, patient. Okay. I can zoom in on that. Just drag it back in. And we can see subclusters. The final aspect of it, which is of interest, is the overlay visualization, because this actually does stuff in terms of time. So the older terms are things like e-learning environment, environment. If I then click in training, I can see that the purple is older papers, row, web, etc. Whereas going back here, if I can find it. Okay, the yellow ones show the more recent connections. So clearly from author higher education, COVID is a much more recent thing, so that's coming in yellow. So that's it. Uh, obviously, I could talk for a lot longer on this, but it's just a, a final example of an example of using AI from the student's point of view.